All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm back to show you how you can test out Discord's brand new up and coming feature, Watch Together Parties, or just a Watch Together stream, where you can watch YouTube synced up with all of your friends directly through Discord's U interface rather than having to have somebody streaming it from their computer. It's a super convenient way and everyone can kind of queue up the songs or the videos or whatever they want to watch together. And then it'll just kind of run through all of them in order. So to check this out, all you have to do is join the publicly available Discord Games Lab server. It's a publicly available server where you can test out new features for Discord before they go live to the rest of the community. And uh, you don't have to do anything but click a link to join. And then down here, they've got a watch together test rooms. And I'm just going to jump into one of them. And you'll notice as you jump into a voice channel, while there's like the regular stream your camera feature and screen share, there's a new button that looks like a rocket ship that says start an activity. And these activities include playing poker with up to seven people, playing chess with up to 100 people, and then doing the watch together party with an unlimited number of people. So to activate this, I'm just going to click the watch together feature. And here it'll ask me to verify that I understand YouTube's privacy policy, YouTube's terms of service, and they might show me ads while I watch. And then I can just authorize this to do stuff. It's kind of like a Discord bot built into Discord. And now all I have to do is either search for a video to watch or I can link something to watch. And they've also got like a list over here of the trending videos in case I want to watch anything that's popular on YouTube right now. But I think we're just going to look up. I actually have some over here that we can grab. Let's just grab some NCS to start us out. And then I can just type it in here and hit enter. And then I'll just hit this little plus symbol to add it to the queue. And that will start playing over here in this main window. Now I can just minimize this if I want so that it's just this playing. I can even get rid of the browser in the background. And here you can see the video is playing and everybody else who's in the channel with me can now see this. And you can see over here a list of all the members currently watching in the right hand sidebar. And then in the left hand, you can add more videos to the queue by simply searching up here. Now, what you can do is you can turn on or off the group playback so that only the person who started the stream has the ability to control it. So I can unlock it and I can now share the remote so anybody in the channel can now submit videos to the queue. Likewise, if people start adding stuff they shouldn't, I can now lock that off and I can click on this X in order to remove it. Now, it looks like you can set up permissions so that you can control who has the ability to control the remote, uh, who has the ability to remove little videos from the queue, and who has the ability to add stuff to the queue as well. So let's see how well this works for um, searching for stuff. Let's just look up... Um, Japanese snacks. I was looking at weird Japanese snack videos earlier. Let's see what that gives us. Oh, there's some right here. We can just find one that looks good. Like whatever this is, looks like pasty snacks. And that'll add that to the queue. And we can look for some rain sounds. Just pop something on there. Oh, it looks like you can even put in like a 10 hour long video if you wanted to. Although you may need to when you click on this video to play it because you can just select any of them in the queue to play them you'll like see that hey this is now playing and it's like 10 hours long that's not cool so you can just click on this one remove this one from the queue and then add something else um rain sound effects let's just type in something like that this one's only three minutes long we'll add that one so it's really easy as you can see to add stuff and then I, yeah you can talk in the channel and you can also set the channel up with your individual permissions so that people can't talk 
while they're watching, all you can do is watch the video. That might be helpful for when people won't stop being chatty Cathy's in the middle of like a movie that you're trying to watch that somebody uploaded to YouTube or something else that you can't hear very well. But I don't know, I like to, depending on what I'm watching, I like to kind of like watch it. Sometimes if it's a dumb video, I like to make fun of it a little bit. So it's completely up to you how you want to handle those. And I'm sure they'll have some very specific granular permissions that we can look at later when this becomes more publicly available on more servers. So when that happens, I will make a detailed video on how to use this feature, how to share it with your friends, and of course, uh, how you can control the different permissions to set up different types of streaming channels. But if you want to check this feature out for yourself, or even some of these other features, because you can play poker and you can play chess right now, I will put the link in the video description to join the Discord Games Lab, where you can check this out for yourself, along with all the other stuff that they occasionally test. And this is a recurring server that you can join to check out new features. So if there's a new one on the horizon, this would be the place you'd go to in order to try to play around with it and see what it does before it goes live to everybody else. This is how you can become a uh, an insider and check out all the coolest features before anybody else gets to. So yeah, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the Discord Watch Together feature. It's an activity where you can natively play YouTube videos through the Discord interface rather than having to screen share. And it's looking pretty cool. It's very lag free. It's easy to navigate. You can find your videos really easily either by searching for them by name or by just putting in a URL and selecting the video. It's easy to remove videos to shuffle the queue because I can even drag these around in queue as well. I've been kind of playing around with this today. It's easy to work with, and I think this will be a great new addition to Discord so that you can watch cool videos with your friends. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Link to this server is in the video description so you can jump, jump in and play around with it and see what it's like. And I will catch you guys and gals next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.